So he's just put his phone on the table face down. Yep, red flag. Red wow. flag. Red flag. Is he messaging that he has to hide mm -hmm. his phone. Come on, babes. Okay, now he's flipped it to the front. Wow. Another red flag. Red wow. flag. Why does he need to see his yeah, phone? His attention should be on you, not his notifications. Okay, but wait, what does his name start with? Um, Jay. Oh, oh my God, flag, babe. Flag, we told flag, you no flag, more Jay. Are you really what forgetting you what happened with the last... Just move on. Just move on. So what? We're going to my yard or... Um... You can come to mine if you want. No, no, no. Wow, after all that. Oh my god, you actually no. suck up. How in the world can Jay be a red flag? And it seems like the board of directors weren't so powerful this time. The next bro just owns her with some facts. Do not accept a coffee or a walk as a possible date option in either studio. First of all, I'm not a dog that needs to be walked. Second, I have an espresso machine at home, works fabulous. So, um, would you like to grab dinner? Or do you have food at home? Hmm? How about you want to watch a movie? Or do you have a TV at home? What are you even arguing, man? Dates are supposed to be for getting to know each other. I don't want to get to know you. Keep to yourself. Keep that to yourself. We are very different. That's all I need to know. Thank you. I don't no, have no, time. no, 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 shut. Please, let me talk. Oh, you have good night. No, but we can be friends. You don't night. want to be my friend. You know, I'm 40 years old. I ain't got time for that bull. Chad is very smart indeed, though we can be friends was more to just keep him as a backup, and I don't really think he could stand that voice much either. Would it make you uncomfortable if I go out with my friends without you? Depends on your friends. It depends where. So, what would be comfortable? I think it depends on your friend. Like, if you were to, you were to be going out with, do I say names, I guess? Sort of be comfortable with. Depends. So, if it was with, um, I'll say names, I guess blurt them out or we'll see. Somewhere, I'll feel more comfortable than if you were to hang out somewhere because I know I know the type of places that each of them are would prefer to go and the type of attention that they're each going to receive. And so then I need to think, am I comfortable with you receiving the same type of attention? The other side can be, oh, but you should trust your girl no matter what because she's ultimately whatever. But at the end of the day, I can also avoid those situations. I prefer you not to go the same way you prefer to for me not to go to a club, for example. Mm -hmm. But if he wanted to go or my boys wanted to go, I have a choice to go. But if I know that it's going to make you uncomfortable, I don't think it's the, the, the wise thing to do. Similarly, why I don't feel like it would be fair or not fair, but wise if you were to hang out in those environments. Yeah, it's definitely more of a respect thing because you wouldn't even have to say anything if she respects you enough as she simply wants the best for you. Here we have a bro simply putting in lots of effort early on. Are you a single bro? F bro. How long you been single for? Two years? Oh, okay. What, what happened with the last relationship? Oh, uh, she cheated. She cheated. Oh, uh, damn. I'm sorry to hear. What's your name? Muhammad. Nice to meet you, Muhammad. Are you are you trying to get back out there? Dude, Muhammad. Yeah? You're talking to somebody? Yeah. What's your name? Ashley. Have you gone on a date yet with Ashley? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay, okay. Ah, uh, but you've been talking on the phone and stuff? FaceTime, yeah. FaceTime. Oh, FaceTime. Nice. One or two FaceTimes or? Every night. Oh. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. The vibes are there? So what, what took so long to meet her right there in person? She has like her own business. Okay. And she like can't get freed up from that way. I'll be the judge, Muhammad. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she's busy, but she could always make time. He called. Oh, it's like if your wife or, or girl was bringing in like 250, 300K a year, would you be... You know, a number of us might actually dream of being a house husband. And it's called Koo King and not Koo Queen for a reason. Next bro sums up the double standards rather perfectly. Try to take me on a date to Outback Steakhouse. Outback. It's giving broke. It's giving yeah, budget. Yeah. It's giving nine to five. So I've been up on my story nonstop. So I decided like, let me respond because I was bored. She doesn't have a car. Oh. It's giving still lives at home. That's what it's giving. She said, do you mind picking me up? I said, it. She said, what? I said, never mind, nothing. She, Excuse me? 
Did she think I was easy? Was this is grade A. I don't just give this out to anybody. She's not paying my car note. She's not. She gave you a haircut? No, no. I had to pay for my own haircut. No. So we went to the mall, right? She's talking about some less window shots. Yeah. I got the ick so bad. Like, I was like, poor? So I'm bringing her over to Louis V. She's clearly trying to stray away. I said, come on. And then get this. iPhone 14. Didn't even have the 15. No. Like, ick. Automatically. No. We can't laugh. We should make, you want to make a wager? Let's bet. A yeah, hundred bucks. Come on. Dated in real life. Hey, baby. <laughs> hey, baby. Bro on the right actually looks like Steve from The Office, especially when he laughs. But the one on the left won, though. Next, we have an awesome breakdown and response to some clear delusion. And should be paid to exist. Oh, boy. Here we go. I know y'all are probably gonna be like, what? You are already wrong, I didn't say that. But no, follow me on this, follow me on this. So one, our bodies literally create life, y'all. So does my swimming bodies, you need them to create life, so I should get a percentage of the money too. I literally think that we should receive monthly income. I know that sounds ridiculous, but I'm being so serious. It does sound ridiculous, but when I think about it, I will give my wife money when I get married, and I do give my mother money. But does that mean I am paying them for existing? I am asking you guys, answer me. Good job, my brother. We rocking with you. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're so sweet. Just gonna ask you a quick question. Um. Nice. So I seen this post on Twitter, and to answer this, yes! Like, you could be having a bad day, and you just randomly look at your phone and just see a picture of her, and just be like, <laughs> just be like, wow, no, like, that sh that's death something to well, for a number of us, it can definitely turn our day around, because it's super rare to even receive a basic compliment. Yes, bro. Like, if you're going to be partaking in cheeks that's not your wife's thing, you just need to move smarter. Like, you, you about to ruin your whole family because you don't know how to delete history. You know, like, for real, for real, you need to get you a cheap Android phone. What are you doing? And just say it's for business, bro. What just, are you doing? What? I'm on the phone. What's up? You like condoning your friend to cheat on his wife? That's weird. No, I don't condone it, bro. You know I don't condone it. That's Nate, by the way. You're being weird. She don't condone it either. But at the same time, if you're going to do it, like, you got to move smart because you can risk, like, your entire family. You can risk you everything. you done it before? You talking to me? Well, I'm not going to No, I'm just saying this is common sense, though. Like, why would you not have a separate phone? Or why would you not so be... why would you encourage your friend to cheat on his wife? I'm not encouraging it, you but are, I'm saying... that's weird. You're his wife, weird. His wife found cheeks galore You're on his weird. phone. She found You're everything. being weird. And now he's, like, sleeping on the couch. I'm just telling him. other people's marriage and worry about your own. I'm just saying, bro. Like, if you're going to cuff me up for advice, hey, hang like, up I'm going to tell it like it is. Hang up the phone. All right, I'm going to... Uh, uh, she gets so serious, definitely gave her the ick there. And you gotta love the you've done it before. Next one is just so intense, props to her for opening up. What's something you would never have done if it wasn't for me? You give me a lot of strength, you know? Like a lot of strength, like... Like the way you believe in me, like... It helps me like love myself more. You've just been like right there, like keep going. You got this. There's nothing that no one can tell you that will change anything. Damn. My wife told me a week ago she's gonna divorce me because she wants easy and something different. It's so fucking you, with my head. You said your wife wants to divorce you? Yeah, she's about to. Yeah, you brought that lie, yeah. boy. Yeah. <laughs> and it's fucking with my head, my self confidence, and I just honestly. Yeah. Have you been good to her? Yeah. Real good? I can do better. She doesn't want you anymore. Okay? Yeah. That's a hard reality. Yeah. I've had several that don't want me anymore. It hurt, lost weight, gained weight, couldn't sleep. And I'm miserable wasting time while she's living. It's a real easy answer. 
You got to get back out there. I'm not saying get back on the horse, but you got to stop the feelings you feel right now. Yeah. There's something, like I said, there's something that everybody's dealing with. And your feelings are the one thing in life that will hurt you from moving forward. I liked it when he himself said that he can do better. And it sounds like he doesn't want to give up on her because he loves her. Hope you enjoyed these clips today and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one.